day I went to the doctor and I um <laughs> I was so nervous because they had me waiting in the waiting room for so long like I was waiting there so like here's what happened I went into the office to check in for my appointment I was five minutes early for my appointment which is good for me because normally I'm like after <laughs> the time I'm supposed to be there so it was five minutes early for my appointment they told me to pee in a cup and I had like so little pee so so little pee and um, I had to wait over an hour to go into the OBGYN's office and I thought to myself I thought you know maybe I'm actually not pregnant after all maybe this was all a false alarm and like the pregnancy test was wrong and these symptoms I've been feeling is just all in my head and I was just like I don't know because I feel super pregnant but I'm not sure so anyways finally he calls me in to the room and he tells me to sit down and I'm just like he's telling me to sit down and I see forms on the table and I'm just like okay there are forms on the table maybe I'm not pregnant maybe I'm just like maybe I have an STD <laughs> I always think that I have an STD. This is just like my thing. When in doubt, it must be an STD. And normally it's just like a yeast infection or something. Or in this case, pregnancy. So anyways, he like asked me if my pregnancy was planned. No, he asked me like, how am I doing? And I was just like, I don't know. I'm just nervous. I've been waiting forever. So like, I'm just nervous. He's like, oh, okay. He's, is, a, is a pregnancy planned or like, a, what is it? And I was like, it's an accident, but you know, it is what it is and it's okay. And he's like, okay, um, so let's lay on the table and then we can start asking questions. So I laid down, it wasn't a table, it was actually like a bed thing. You know what I'm talking about? Um, it's like the bed thing that you put your legs up and then your vagina is just completely exposed. At first he took like a swab to, to test for some things and then he um, put the ultrasound dildo looking thingy into my vagina and then he was going around and there was like i saw there was like an empty hole and i was like oh my god the baby is gone there's an empty hole the baby is motherfucking gone and then he moved it to the other side and there the baby was here's the thing i don't know a lot about like i like vaginas i love them i love to eat them but i don't know a lot about vaginas <laughs> And so my doctor has had to explain to me the labyrinth that is a vagina um, using a model because apparently sex education has failed me. Um, but so like I didn't know that I didn't know what I was seeing when he showed me one hole and then he showed me the other hole. And maybe it was all one hole. I don't know. But I still have to figure out that part. I didn't ask him because I didn't want to seem like a complete nuisance. But, um, so then I saw the baby and I just started to cry. He was like, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm just really emotional right now. I was like, okay. And like, I was so emotional because like 10 years ago I was pregnant. 10 years ago I was pregnant and I had a miscarriage and it was the worst experience of my life. So laying down on the table again, and then seeing this baby like on the ultrasound and being so happy and so scared that this might be a fleeting moment was just like too much for me to take. I was just, I'm crying. And like I told him why I was crying. And he said, well, looking at everything, like you look like perfectly fine. I would say it's very unlikely for you to have a miscarriage at this point. Like based on how the baby is growing I mean I can't completely rule it out you know but I would say it's really improbable and you can come in in two weeks and we can check on the status of the baby and um, and then we'll go from there and I was just like that would be great thank y'all I felt that after my miscarriage I would not be able to get pregnant really because um, I had a a D and C, which is like after the miscarriage, they clean all the tissues and stuff out of you. Um, 
and he I felt like he did it so wrong because afterwards like I had the worst period cramps like and like my period blood was like a strange color I felt like he fucked up my vagina the person who did my DNC 10 years ago so like I just felt like okay I'm not able to get pregnant. I kind of just kind of resented to the fact that I wasn't going to get pregnant and just, I don't know, it was just a whirlwind of so many emotions, especially right now, um, like knowing that I have something in me just growing inside of me and eating and preparing and um, I am just beyond, 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 beyond grateful and thankful um, to be able to be able to house a life inside of me. That's all.